important key to your turnaround is not only receiving God's forgiveness, but then extending it to others. You know, when you repent of your sins, when you forgive others and you ask God for a new beginning, He forgives and He forgets your past. In Micah chapter 7, verses 18 and 19, we're given a beautiful picture about how God handles our sins and our past. It says this, Who is a God like you, who pardons iniquity and passes over the rebellious acts of the remnant of his possession? He does not retain his anger forever, because he delights in unchanging love. He will again have compassion on us. He will tread our iniquities underfoot, Yes, you will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. What great news! When the Lord forgives you, the Bible says He buries your sins in the deepest part of the ocean. And as someone has suggested, then God hangs a no-fishing sign over it to keep us from bringing up those things ever again. Notice the word all. You will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Not one of your sins is so terrible that it's unforgivable. All of your sins were included when Jesus died on the cross. And when you asked him to come into your life, all guilt and condemnation was erased. Your sins were forgiven. You became a child of God. King David said in Psalms chapter 103, Bless the Lord, O my soul, forget not all his benefits, who pardons all your iniquities. You know, at one point in David's life, he was under a huge cloud of shame. Why? He had committed adultery with Bathsheba. He had murdered her husband Uriah just as surely as if he had killed him himself. But in Psalm 51, he cried out to God. He cried out for forgiveness. He cried out for a new beginning. And he said, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain me with a willing spirit. God heard David's prayer and he will hear yours as well. No matter what kind of pit you may have dug for yourself, the Lord can and will forgive you and give you a fresh start, a new beginning, a turnaround. How fantastic is it to go from a life of sin and death to a life of joy and peace? Because of God's amazing grace, your past sins, all of them have been covered by the blood of Jesus. It's time to forget them. It's time to leave them in the past so your turnaround can begin. God bless you.